If you guys have been watching me for a while, you already know that for a very long time, I have struggled with creating a kitchen that I love. After years of decluttering, and organizing, and changing things throughout my kitchen, I feel like I finally achieved the kitchen that I've always wanted. Something simple yet functional where everything has a home and it has taken me literally years to get to this point. So in today's video, I want to share with you how I did it and how I keep my kitchen organized and efficient. I've been living in this apartment for about seven years, I believe, and the kitchen has always been a pain point for me because of how much limited storage space we have. And even as a minimalist and always going through my things, decluttering, I feel like I've never been able to create that look that I've strived for. But now I finally feel like it has all come together after all this time. So I'm so excited to show you how my kitchen is looking like these days. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I talk all about decluttering and simple living. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe down below and join this community. A tip that I've talked about before and I'm sure you've heard from many other YouTubers and content creators is that if you want to have an organized kitchen, you want to clear your counters. And you guys know that I have very limited counter space, but I made a recent change that has created more counter space for me and I'm so happy about it. In this space, I used to have my coffee machine and now that has moved to a different location. But before I move on and show you guys, I want to show you how little counter space I have been working with for so long. So usually this is the main area where we prep our food and do all that stuff here. On this side over here, we have all of our fruits, knife block, and cutting board in this little tiny space. And then over here next to the kitchen sink, this is where we put all of our dishes that are hand washed, that are drying. So as you can see, we don't have that much counter space to work with, but now that the coffee machine has moved, we have this extra space that's been so nice because now we have more space while we're cooking to prep our food and just to even set groceries down when we come home from shopping. So it's just been so nice just to have this clear empty space. So where did the coffee machine go? The coffee machine and all coffee related items live on this beautiful cabinet by her nest. This is what this corner of the kitchen used to look like. I used to have the crate and all of the dog stuff just living on here and I hated how it looked in the kitchen. I feel like it just was very cluttered and not visually appealing and I struggled with a solution up until I got this beautiful cabinet by her nest. I was a bit overwhelmed with how many pieces came in this box to assemble the cabinet, but we got it done in just a few hours. At first, I wasn't sure where to put it in the kitchen or what was going to go inside it, but, but I think I it worked out pretty great to store all of Callie's items. This is our little declutter pile, so I'm gonna get rid of this sponge and this bandana and this lick mat that she never uses. So we're gonna get rid of these. These are all the leftover bins that used to hold all of Callie's items. And now that it's in the cabinet, I'm either going to donate these bins or see if I can find other homes for them in my apartment. Not sure if I will need all of these, but before I donate them, I want to see if I can use them for other items in the home. And then this little cabinet actually is supposed to go with my desk, but this was used for Cali stuff too. And I don't need this anymore, so I will donate this back to the Buy Nothing group since they originally gave it to me about a year ago. So now this is gonna go back to them. As you can see, we made quite a few changes here. So we no longer have the dog crate sitting here with all the stuff on top. I always hated how messy it looked. For years, I struggled to find a nice way to organize everything. And now we decided to just fold the crate. So that's stored here with 
the dog gate as well so we decided that whenever we do need it we can just pull this out and assemble it so it's not that big of a deal don't have a great place for it here in the kitchen but I think it's worth having this beautiful piece here instead so here we have this stainless steel countertop we have two drawers a pull-out cabinet drawer that we now use to store all of Callie's food and snacks and her products as well so everything basically that was living in those bins now lives in here and then in this drawer we also are holding some of her items in there and then this side obviously the coffee machine and stuff and then here are other miscellaneous coffee items in this drawer and then her dog food actually lives in here this is supposed to be a pull out trash bin but we found that her food can actually fit in here perfectly in this little vault container so i was so thrilled about that that it fit perfectly now we don't have the bulky bin for the dog food sitting out and i'm just beyond thrilled and obsessed with this cabinet and how it looks now i actually have a 20 percent off online coupon code for you if you want to shop at hernest.com they have tons of amazing selections on there that you can elevate your space in your home whether it's your living room bedroom bathroom they literally have it all so go check them out i'm obsessed with this cabinet as you can tell by the look on my face i'm just so happy with it their website has tons of different selections so maybe you'll find something for you my next kitchen hack is to make things easily accessible you guys already know if you've watched my other videos that i struggled so much without having pantry storage in my kitchen. I don't have a built-in pantry and for the longest time, I just shove things into the cabinets up there that are hard to reach, that are small and barely fit anything. I tried my best with constant decluttering and making sure I don't waste food or have food that I don't use or plan to use in the cabinets and even then, it still didn't really make a difference because I was still shoving things in. It looked super disorganized and I just hated it for so long. That all changed a few months ago when I got this storage rack. I did make a video on this. If you haven't seen that one, I will link it up here. But it has been a game changer like I've said so many times because now I have a place to put all my pantry stuff that I can see that's easily accessible. Now I can have a place for overstock. If I have anything that's overstock, that can go in there. And I'm just so happy that I did this makeshift pantry with this storage rack that I got from my local Buy Nothing group. It's definitely something that I wish I would have done years ago, but better late than never, this has worked out so great for us. This also takes me to my next hack, which is to store like items together. So whether it's kitchen appliances, utensils, pantry items, whatever it is in your kitchen, store like items together. Now that I finally have it all figured out and everything has its home and place, now I feel like I can finally start labeling things. I do have a couple of bins right here, if you can see behind me, where I store some snacks and some food. And now that everything has its home and its place, I'm very excited to start labeling things. That way not only do I know where things go, but also my partner knows where everything goes in these bins. So let me give you a little tour of the pantry. I've got the bigger cooking stuff sitting on the shelf that does not fit in the cabinet, so that lives there, as well as some canned beans back there, and then nothing in this extra space here yet. Down below, we have these two clear bins where I just put in some snacks in here. This bin also holds some bread and potatoes. Here's some extra protein bars that I bought because they were on sale, and before I had this storage shelf, there was literally no place for me to put this in. I couldn't even buy things like this that were on sale that I could take advantage of because I had no place to put them. But now I have the space thanks to this so I can put the extra stuff there. We also got some snacks there. And then here we just have a couple of drink, protein, and smoothie stuff lives down there. And then in this bottom shelf we have some appliances 
This is a shampoo for my dog. This does not fit in the kitchen cabinet, so that's why it's there. And then in this little bin, this used to hold Callie's items, but now I have all of my reusable bags in here. And they finally have a home because those bags were just shoved in in this little corner back here. <laughs> now it has a home over there in this little bin, so love it. And then moving on here, we still have our recycling here and obviously our water tank. Our kitchen is just looking so nice and functional these days. I'm in love. I think I just mentioned this not that long ago, but my next hack is make sure that everything has a home. I'm sure you've heard this a million times as well, but it really does make such a big difference. And the biggest problem for me was trying to find homes in such a small space where I didn't have a lot of storage. You guys already have seen me declutter this entire kitchen multiple times and it has literally taken me years to get to this point where I'm satisfied with my kitchen finally. I hope this inspires you if you're struggling with your kitchen or any other area in your home because you feel like you can't get it right or aesthetically pleasing or clutter free. Just remember me and this video. It has literally taken me years, years of trial and error of trying to figure out what goes where, trying the storage systems like these that are meant for like outdoor storage or garage storage, but I'm using it in my kitchen. Also years of trying to use bins and organizers and all these things. It has finally all paid off. So if you're feeling like you're struggling or overwhelmed still with your space, just know you're not alone because even I, who am a minimalist, who declutters regularly, struggled, especially in the kitchen, with just having it clutter-free and organized. Like I said, everything has a home now. I used this Lazy Susan years ago and it's been working out great for us. So all these condiments live there. We have my spices all in these jars, which I love. Even my junk drawer is just looking good these days. <laughs> that needs to be pushed back. But yes, it's the junk drawer, but it's still pretty organized and pretty neat. So also this took a while for me to maintain it this way because it used to be very junky, but now it looks so much better. As you can see, even the junk has its own home. Moving on over here, I still have these bamboo organizers to store some things in here also have been working out great and this one could still use some organizing but it's it's fine it's not that big of a deal and it's this one that also has the organizers i just love opening these drawers and knowing exactly where everything goes and is also something that i struggled with before was my pots and pans. Because of my limited storage space, they have been living under the sink, but I figured out a system after decluttering some pots and pans. Now we have these organizers for them. Also have been a game changer to keeping my kitchen organized. Also something that I'm super proud of is the fact that we don't have any clutter on top of the fridge. If you guys saw my past videos, I'm not sure how many of you remember, but I used to have lots of stuff up here. It was very cluttered. I hated it. And now we have these beautiful pots that sit on top of the fridge that look way nicer than the stuff that was on here before. Another kitchen hack is tidy as you cook. This is something that I never used to do, but when I started doing it, I was like, it really does make a big difference. If I'm cooking and I'm spilling tomato juice all over the stove, right away I will wipe it down instead of leaving it to dry and harden, and then that just makes it harder for me to clean and remove the next day or whenever I get to it. But now when I'm cooking or my partner is cooking, I try to make sure to wipe things down as I see it. Also, if it's just going to take two seconds for me to put a dish in the dishwasher, I will do that instead of leaving it in the sink. 
such a simple and tiny habit but it really does make a big difference and also cuts on your cleaning time which personally i hate cleaning so whatever i can do to lessen my cleaning work i will do it <laughs> another tip that i love is to use mason jars or sauce jars to store items so in this mason jar as you can see i'm storing the dishwasher tablets speaking of the dishwasher sorry if you hear sounds that's my dishwasher running right now but instead of storing them in its original packaging which can take up a lot of space i just store my tablets in this mason jar and it also just looks so much nicer than the loud packaging with bright colors and words and all that stuff that i don't really need to see so the mason jars big changer as well obviously you can use them to store rice beans basically anything else in your kitchen also you can just repurpose pasta sauce jars clean them out and just store your stuff in them very simple and very easy but it really does make a difference so love my mason jars something that's also helped me big time is to just declutter unused appliances or gadgets tools as well as any duplicates like I said, you guys have seen me declutter my kitchen for a while and I always just happen to find something that I come across that needs to be decluttered. And because of decluttering my space, I was able to use organizational bins and drawers to organize the stuff that I'm actually going to use. So like I said earlier, if you're getting discouraged with your home, you feel like you keep decluttering and you're just not happy or satisfied with your space, it literally took me years to get to this point where I'm finally happy with how my kitchen looks. I don't hate it anymore and I don't want you to hate your space either. So keep going, keep decluttering, watch my videos for more inspiration. You can achieve a clutter-free space as well. Thank you for watching this week's video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Also, comment below what kind of other videos you'd like to see from me. You guys always know that I like to do decluttering videos, but I can also do any minimalism tips, simple living tips, finance tips, money-saving tips, so let me know below. See you guys in the next one.